these temperatures. Yes, <laughs> I mean, especially I, for September as you get that bug, you, know, you get that... Uh, you're ready for the fall-like fall. weather, yeah. yeah. Have you had your pumpkin spice latte yet? No. No? No you're pumpkins for me. I'm hanging on to summer as long as it'll stick around, okay? <laughs> then right. I'll move into that season, we'll one get, at a time. <laughs> yeah, look at September so far. We started the uh, month wet, and you can see on air... Uh, let me go with that. Pike Pass Skycam Network. I forgot I was going to show you the cameras out here. I, I got ahead <laughs> of myself. There's lots of sunshine out there. All right, now let's go to the calendar. And I saw the sunshine out there. It's warm temperatures. as uh, September high so far as uh, we were wet to start the month here on the 1st with a high temperature of 78. And then we some some 90s and hit and miss a shower and thunderstorm with some 80s and low 90s. 84 on Monday. 89 today or yesterday and we'll be 89 or so here today and then some 90s are on the way but I'll just circle in that one and remember the 77 the glorious Sunday that we enjoyed 81 degrees a southeast wind at around 15 to 20 the dew points fairly low especially as these temperatures climb up into the upper 80s to near 90 that relative humidity fairly low uh, so the humidity in check with a little bit of a south breeze yes it is hot in the sunshine but you get under a a patio, a little bit of a breeze that feels uh, somewhat nice as we're at 84 in Bristow, 85 in Seminole, 88 in Kingfisher, 87 in Stillwater, 82 there in Clinton. So temperatures are starting to uh, heat up with all that sunshine under that south to southeast wind that'll continue. It will be a little breezy here this afternoon and tomorrow. This little kink of low pressure here that's jetting getting blocked. It's getting blocked by the area of high pressure. Notice how it was trying to come in. Now it's heading off towards the north as a lot of dry air and heat and that dome of high pressure is blocking anything that's coming in from the west. And normally this would spark off some showers and thunderstorms, but we are very dry here at the surface and aloft. So a couple high level clouds will filter in from the west, but other otherwise uh, mostly sunny and Yes, hot for this time of year. Our average high temperature, 84 degrees. We'll go 89 here in Oklahoma City, 92 in Enid, 90 in McAllister, 89 in Durant, 91 down there in Lawton. Next Gen Live's quiet here today. A couple isolated, gusty thunderstorms out in the panhandle, those summertime thunderstorms, the heating of the day as that weather system moves off towards the north and east, the trailing energy could rule out couldn't rule out a couple isolated showers making it into far western and northwest Oklahoma late late tonight into tomorrow morning and as that area of low pressure is still to the north of us that trailing energy might spark off a couple more showers mainly northwest and north central as we head towards Thursday night and a Friday most areas will stay dry. The metro will stay dry. We're talking about northwest, north central Oklahoma of a couple isolated showers. So rain chances here this evening, very low, isolated sprinkle or shower moving in from the east, weakening uh, Clinton, Hobart, Altus, 10%, 20% chance up towards Woodward and Alva. Not a big deal. Temperatures here tonight, middle to upper 60s to low 70s. And then as we head towards tomorrow, a south breeze, temperatures will make it up into the upper 80s once again. Couple clouds around, especially in the morning, mostly sunny during the afternoon, that gusty south wind. State Fair starts tomorrow and it is not going to be rainy. A lot of people say it's always rainy to start at the State Fair. Not this State Fair. We're going to be summer heat, upper 80s to lower 90s through the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, even Sunday could be even hotter than that with that south breeze as the heat hangs on and maybe in about nine or 10 days, okay? Nine or 10 days, there could be a fall cold front. Data is uh, hit miss on how strong that cold front's going to be. So the summer is not going to last. It's just going to continue to last. I will say, I will point out here, Lisa, with all these 90s, is your pool still open? It is. Okay, so I still have a chance for an invite. <laughs> Maybe, maybe one of these days, Justin. <laughs> Thanks so much. 